The 2021 school year started with several significant challenges for students, faculty, and staff as they navigated new schedules and policies. While COVID has been on the forefront of those directives, one other change has significantly impacted student time on learning. The school's late start has made early dismissals for student athletes a routine occurrence for many students and teachers. We sat down with our athletic director, David Pruel, to get some detailed statistics on these early dismissals and spoke to teachers and student athletes to understand how this practice affects life at NHS. Football uh, with one game a week and playing at night hasn't really had to deal with the early dismissals as the other fall teams have, but boys and girls cross country, boys and girls soccer, golf and field hockey. Uh, there's roughly you know 184 student athletes um, that are affected by the, the school change and the early dismissals. Um, there's been, among those teams, there, there has been or will be throughout the fall, uh, 56 total early dismissals. 18 of those are for home contests, for field hockey and for golf. Uh, and because of the time that teams are leaving, uh, there's 24 times where teams are being dismissed from their third period class in addition to missing their entire fourth period class. This season, the golf team has a total of 17 early dismissals. As a student athlete, do you feel that the early dismissals have affected your ability to learn? I think that missing school almost every day during some weeks, some weeks every day, uh, certainly has uh, an impact on uh, my schoolwork and my ability to learn. Do you feel that it is your responsibility as a student athlete to balance academics and athletics? No, it should be like balanced on its own and we shouldn't have to miss school for our sports. I feel like it's been on us to be the ones to balance it, but it really shouldn't be. That's not our job as a student, even if sometimes it should be, it's just too much stress for us. Out of a class of 30 people, um, the other day I had 13. Uh, there's a lot of people missing and when you have that amount of your class missing, the content that you teach you're either going to have to reteach it or you're going to have to water it down and make it so you can catch everybody up and it's it's super difficult so it's definitely a challenge do you have any other thoughts or possible solutions i mean my my initial thought is putting flex at the end of the day so if you know students are missing their fourth period class they'll only miss a portion of it and then they would just be missing flex where they could on the days that they're there they could make up that in flex so I feel like that could be a potential solution and I feel like I would be a lot more comfortable if flex was at the end of the day to minimize the amount of uh, instruction students missed. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. Tune in next week for more.